2009. I applaud the interest of all of our applicants uh, for this position of police chief, and I greatly appreciate their service and respect their abilities. I feel confident that the internal applicants will continue to serve the city with dedication and commitment. I also want to extend the appreciation of the committee who assisted with the selection process. And those members are Shirley Mercer, Pam Finney, Larry Dooley, Dr. Bruce Blandy, and Clarence Boone. <clears throat> and to Lynn Henney, personnel director, all of her staff, and especially to our interim chief, Larry Price, for his service to the city during this transition. And I'll be asking Larry to continue to uh, serve with the chief once he gets on board, uh, at least four to six weeks as an advisor to kind of navigate him through the, through the police department and navigate him through the, the city of Jackson. So it's indeed a pleasure for me to introduce to you our new chief of police of the city of Jackson, Tennessee, Chief Gil Kendrick. Gil, come on up. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My wife Judy and I, and this her standing over to my, uh, to my right, we want to let you know that we're truly blessed and honored in my being chosen to serve as your next chief of police in the great city of Jackson, Tennessee. There's a kinship with myself and the city of Jackson that goes back 30 years ago as I began my career in law enforcement and Brownsville became a train for the Jackson Police Department. And over those years, we fostered many relationships with the members of that agency because we worked simultaneously or worked together because we were sister cities and we dealt with crime that was issues to not only Jackson but to Brownville uh, and, and worked hard to, to deal with those issues. Uh, so therefore, you know, it, it, there is a strong kin kinship that I have with the city of Jackson and with the Jackson Police Department. Uh, we're excited about moving to Jackson, anxious to, to move here, to finally get fully pulled up into this community. We've been a part of this community for quite a period of time, quite a number of years. We've been affiliated with as members and the fellowship with the West Jackson Baptist Church, and we've grown to love this city, and we've grown to love this community because the city of Jackson, the community of Jackson, has so much to offer. As far as the crime that's ongoing in the community, which is our responsibility, let me tell you this. You can rest assured that we, the Jackson Police Department, will do everything within our power to maintain a city that our families can live in, they can work in, and they can play without without fear. That you know their safety will be provided for and be taken care of. But there's one important component of this aspect of what we will do as the Jackson Police Department. In fact, it's the most important component, and that component is the citizens of Jackson. Because in order for us to accomplish this goal or this objective that lies before us, we cannot do it without you. When you think about community, ladies and gentlemen, there's one word that I feel like is the only way community can even be spelled or it can even exist, and that is the last part of that word, and it's unity. There's no I in team, they say, but there is an I, and there is a you, and the unity that we can together work toward for having one of the best communities uh, in West Tennessee. I know it's a long, arduous task that lies ahead of us, but in reading a book by gentleman one time that was talking about winning every day, and some of you may know him as Lou Holtz, who used to be the coach of Notre Dame. He said, all of little home said that, you know, what lies before us pales in comparison to what lies within us. And I know that strength lies within the citizens of this community and within the strength of the men and women who comprise the Jackson Police Department to do what needs to be done for the good of our citizens. In my final comment, I would like to I would like to direct you to the gentlemen that stand behind me, a very small contingency of individuals, a very small contingency of gentlemen that represent Jackson's finest, that is the men and women of the Jackson Police Department. Synonymous to a part of their uniform is something that many refer to as a badge, some refer to it as a shield. It seems rather small, but in comparison to it, basically it's weight in the area that it covers, so that would seem insignificant but as far as what it really stands for, there is no measure. For the Spartan soldiers as young men, they were taught by their moms that the shield was something that you would honor. As a young man, I was taught by my dad that one of the merits or one of the attributes of being a good man was that my word was my bond. 
to the men and women of the Jackson Police Department, I give you my word, it is my bond, that I will do everything within my power to honor what these men and what these women have fought to attain and have fought to sustain as members of the Jackson Police Department. And I only hope one day when I walk off the field that by the grace of God, I too will be considered one of Jackson's finest. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.